Let us see how to add row names and column names to a matrix. Let's create a matrix. One, two, nine, comma, and row equals to three, comma, and column equals to three. Okay, it will print the three by three matrix. Even you can get the same result by just adding one dimension only. So let me just copy this. Let me just add n row equals to three. Okay, let's see this. So even here you can see the same dimensions which has been provided. Let's try to create an another matrix. Here instead of n call equals to three, so let us put by two equals to true. So it will fill your matrix by rows now. You can see earlier it was by columns. Now it is by rows. So let me just add a comment over here for your understanding. Fill matrix row twice. Now I want to add the row names and column names to my matrix. So the function which we be using is deem names. So again, let's create a matrix X matrix one, two, nine, comma, and row equals to three, comma. The function the function which will be applying is a deem names, so which is the dimension names. If you can just see, it will pass through a list. This will be covered in the next section. So let's just see. First, I will add the names for my rows, followed by names for the columns. So it will be C. Let me just add to the names to the rows. Okay. If you are applying a string, so it will be in double quotes. It will it is add now a comma double quotes b comma double quotes c. Add a comma over here. So to make my code look much better, I'm using I'm just uh, writing this code in two lines. You can also write the entire code in one line. Just for your understanding, I'm using two lines. C. Let me just add a x comma add y y comma add z okay. so it's yeah it's it's complete now let's do control enter let's print x so abc is my row names xyz is my column names so this name can be accessed or changed with the helpful function called as row names and call names so let me just add the name of the functions for you all call names and row names save your work now let me just get the call names of my matrix so it will be call names of x to control enter so it's x y z let's get the row names row names of x let's do control enter here you can see the row, row names are printed 
it is also to it is also possible to change the names suppose i want to change the call names so let me just write a comment over here change names so i will just pass okay call names so for 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 which uh, matrix you want to change the call names so it will be x so it will be again c is you call in this c1 comma in bracket c2 comma c3 let's print this now let's print again x you can see x y z is replaced by a b and c let's try to change the row names also row names of x c round brackets r1 comma again r2 comma r3 Let's print x. Here the row names are also updated. The another way of creating a matrix is by using the functions R bind and C bind, which is also known as row bind and column bind. So let me add a comment over here. R bind and C bind. let's try this also let's do c bind so it will be c 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma c again 4 comma 5 comma 6 so it will bind to columns so this is it let's try r bind Instead of C bind, I'll just change this to a R. R. Let's see R bind function. So here it is combined to two rows. In the previous case, it was two columns. If I want to create a matrix, let me just put it as a. Uh, let me just call the new matrix as. this uh, random name let me just pass this now let's just print mouse so control enter so mouse is done suppose you want to add the row names let's create row names for this Let's add D again. C. Let me just add names A, comma B, comma C. Again, we'll do update mouse. Okay, let's create an another this thing cat. So we'll use now R bind. Since our row names should be uh, the header should be at top, so it will be D comma our mouse D comma mouse. Let's print cat. Here you can see since we have passed a character vector everything is being converted to a character matrix now uh, one more miscellaneous operator is remaining so which is the percentage star and uh, percentage so this is just to multiply matrix with the transpose so let's create a matrix m 
equals to you can use either equals to or you can use this sign also sorry it's this sign so right now i'm just using equal to so matrix let's pass this c so let me just pass uh, i'm just want i just want to create a matrix of 2 by 3 2 just normal six elements okay let me just count okay so there's one more x that was extra comma n row equals to two comma n call equals to three comma let me just put by row equals to you can either put t or you can just put and you can just write true Let's print M. You can see two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I just put N call three and I have not used this particular argument, it would have been two, three, then four, five, six, and seven. So let's try to do the transpose of M. So to put a transpose, use T and this passive matrix M. So your rows are interchanged by columns. In the normal way, if you want to multiply m, okay, m multiplied by t, transpose of m. So this is not possible in the normal way. So this is the reason why this particular uh, operator is used. So this particular function is used. So let's create an another vector f where my values will be stored. M percentage star percentage so it's percentage star percentage and transpose of M. So now you can multiply with this. Let me just create now. Let me just print F. Yes, you are done. So you are getting the multiplication matrix by its transpose.